Hey love, so it's time for another Ala Express hair video. This is from the vendor Dream Style Hair, and they sent me four bundles of their Deep Peruvian Wave, which is 26, 24, 24, 22, and a 18 inch closure. I actually did forget to do the beginning of this video, but either way, the hair came out really pretty and it's so full. I actually sold this on my mesh dome cap as usual washed it conditioned it and put some of my hair products in it okay so, love. so i am finally back with this big hair like this hair is super big like oh my gosh big i used all four of the bundles and the closure now i really did not realize that it was kind of like kinky curly hair and the last kinky curly unit that i made i only really needed three bundles of 16 inches but this Oh my goodness, like, oh, it is so big. Like, I think this is too big beyond my control. But I will be honest and say, it's some very pretty hair. Um, I will show you guys in a minute what I use to wash and keep the curls popping. But um, it is some really, really nice hair. So as for what I normally do, I really was going to dye it like a reddish color, but I lost track of time and I really did was like, you know what, let me just do the video. Um, if I want to dye it red, I will. Now that I notice it, it is so huge. I'm not really sure if it should be dyed red or not, but it came out really pretty. The curls get kind of tight at the ends. So yeah, it gets kind of big. Always on a mesh dome cap, just like the spandex dome caps. This time I didn't put any combs in it, and it wasn't like on purpose. It's because I forgot. I got so busy doing what I needed to do. But it is um, concealed already with my favorite camouflage concealer palette from Coastal Sense, which is like $10. You get, I think it's like $10 or $12. You get um, 10 different shades in this. But there is one by Beauty Treats for $5.99. That is the same exact colors um, and the same amount of pans for a 5 dollars So I'll put that below for you guys. But this time around I have one of the fishnet caps on because you can't see through it. And I just like to put the caps on because it holds the wig still. But this one, trust me, is rather snug so I don't even need any combs. This is a middle part that I put in this one here. So let's just check her out. Time to make my hairline look a lot thicker to just match with the wig. So I'm using my Topic Hair Filler Fibers. You've seen me use this a lot in all my wig videos. It just makes my hairline look a lot thicker. Also gives it a little bit darkness because my hair is kind of like a number two in between. But it also fills in my hair and makes it dark. You can pick this up at Sally's Beauty Supply or also you can get it online at Target.com. I would suggest the spray nozzle um, spray pump that I've used because it just makes an easier distribution. Along with my hairspray and my gel, I'm going to apply that to my hairline and brush that in with my toothbrush that I only use for my hair. is plenty full of hair maybe I should not have put all the hair in it but I was really like thinking okay she's like the deep Peruvian deep wave Peruvian that I just did a review on so these four bundles won't hurt right mm. was I so wrong okay so I don't know about you guys but I feel like the cowardly lion from the Wiz I do she's very pretty hair but she is so big. Like, there are a lot of people that love hair this big. And I have gotten into the deep curly hair. I've gotten into the curly hair in general. So I have learned to tame it with certain products. And I've learned to deal with it to where it's not swelling up, drying up, or anything like that for me. So I'm good. But when I jump out of the box, I kind of jump out slow. And then when I jump out like this, it's like, girl, where are you going? 
um so what's good for some is not good for april um but i will say this they have some really nice hair okay despite the fact that i used it all they have some really nice hair like who told me to go and use the whole damn four bundles like dang girl what you thinking so she gets really big and she gets really pretty so we're gonna fluff around we're gonna see how big and pretty she actually gets and it's so soft and it might have to do with what i put in it but it's so soft and it probably would look really good if it was thinned out a little bit or what have you but for those some people don't like it like that so you know but this looks like like some really good hair like the curl pattern is beautiful like it is really a beautiful curl pattern the closure was actually a um parted closure already and it was a middle part when you have a lot of hair like this there's a lot of different things you can do with it uh i guarantee you that um you just this would probably be super cute corn road oh my god because it's still gonna be big so wow it would be Okay, I have to try this. So I love to put my wigs in cornrows. They can either be on the side. Sometimes I put them kind of like in the middle and then it kind of goes across my face or kind of my hairline area. But I think that it looks really pretty when you put them in braids because it gives it a more natural look and no one will ever think that you've braided up a wig. But it also keeps the hair out of your face when it's super hot outside. So with this big hair, I decided to do that with this. Um, and the braids are rather thick, but I like to do different types of tricks with the braids over or underneath It's still a great alternative Attach like a clip and wear it with the Braids actually going on top of the hair, which is cute because it's still big. It's like still super big, but It's not so oh my god. Where is she going with all that hair? big, okay what I like to do is take them, pretend like they have been. I will take the braids, being that the hair is big, I will pull, I will crisscross the braids in the back and then tuck them underneath or inside the cap rather. Then you can have it still big. So either way, it's big. But this, it looks a little bit different each time because your hair is being basically pressed down and you have it just like this or like this. I like it both ways. It's a really cool hairstyle. When I'm saying cool, meaning if you're somewhere where it's really hot and you just don't want to die from all the hair but you still want to look cute, then you can always wear it like this. And this is what I do with like a lot of my curly units and I'll spray some of this. Because the hair is so thick and my hair, my hair is so thin. and i'll be done so yes still cute very full a lot of hair but i will give them this the hair is really good quality i'm not really sure if i would wear this too though because it's so hot right now i'm um, very very hot outside so this is more or less like when it cools down type hair okay when it cools down type hair but check the curls the waves out they're like really gorgeous really really pretty hair so on that note, I will post all their information below for their Ally Express hair. Yes, let me know what you think of this huge Shaka Khan hair. 2015 Shaka Khan hair. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And all the information will be posted for you guys below if you want a wig made by moi. You can always check out goingwiththewindwigs.webleys.com, my website, my online boutique, which will also be posted below for you guys. And on that note, you can also check out custom-made, already-made wigs by me. Um, some of them are video wigs, so if you know what I'm talking about when I say video wigs, then you can also check that out. So, I will make sure to see you guys really soon. Stay diva and divolicious, and I'll check you out in my next video. Make sure you rate, comment, and thumbs this video up, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon.